The best way you can support me is with a simple subscribe. Subscribe to my channel for more content like this. All right, Mr. Telefero TV, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. If you if you haven't, I just read a subscriber say, uh, I've been watching your videos for a while and I haven't subscribed. Man, get off my channel. If you rock with me, subscribe to the channel so we can help grow this thing and we can make this thing something special. Anyways, I thought this question that I was posing on my channel would be something that we probably address down the line, at least in 2018, not now. Um, but things are picking up so quickly with Kyrie Irving in this situation, and the Cavs are going to have to make a decision. Do you trade Kyrie Irving, or do you try to work it out and make him just stay on this team? You can look at the Lakers a few years ago, and they did both ways, right? When they had Kobe and Shaq, they made the decision to trade Shaquille O'Neal because Kobe and Shaq couldn't get along, and a plethora of other things was going on. They traded Shaq to Miami. They didn't get value back. If I'm not mistaken, that was a trade that ended up with Karam Butler. I think Odom came back as well, if I'm not mistaken. So it was a decent trade, but obviously when you're talking about Shaquille O'Neal, he's one of the most dominant big men ever. You're not going to get equal value. So they did it that way. And then they also kept the disgruntled superstar. They kept Kobe Bryant. Remember, Kobe Bryant went on the Stephen A. Smith show. Um, what was that? Quite frankly, I'm taking it back for my sports fans. And he said, I'd rather play on anywhere on the planet. I think he said, he, I'd rather play on Pluto before I played for the Los Angeles Lakers. And the Lakers didn't trade Kobe. They kept him and it worked out. They got two more championships. So we've seen the Lakers do both sides of it. Um, so Cleveland has some decisions. I'm going to ask the question to you guys. Talk to me in the comment box below. What should LeBron James do? Now, personally, here's my opinion. And this is as of July. What's today's date? July 23rd, 2017. If I'm LeBron James, this is what I would do. I think he has three options. The first option is, is, is pretty unlikely. He has four options. We'll do four options. The first option is to stay with Cleveland. Um, kind of fade away. Take the L's like Kobe did in the last couple years. Don't compete for championships, but at least you're not team hopping. LeBron has kids, three of them, um, two of them in school, one of them really lighting up the NBA, uh, well, the, the the high school, about to light up the high school scene with, with basketball. And uh, maybe you just want to stay home. His wife, Savannah, likes it in Cleveland, doesn't love it, actually loved it in Miami. So maybe LeBron just wants to stay there, stay put in Cleveland. That's the first option. The second option, this option is a little bit less likely than the first one. So we'll put this one as the, the least likely thing to happen. LeBron could go play for the Phoenix Suns, right? LeBron James has ties to Eric Bledsoe. One of his closest relationships he has in the NBA with anybody is Eric Bledsoe. As a matter of fact, if I'm not mistaken, Eric, he was at Eric Bledsoe's wedding of about a few weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken. LeBron and Eric Bledsoe, are really, are, they're really close. They're really close. And um, he's probably one of the few guys LeBron James calls a friend in the NBA. And you could go play in Phoenix. You know, they got a lot of young talent. Devin Booker, it looks like he, he would fit what LeBron likes to do. Um, Arizona is a place that a lot of players go post-NBA career. Um, it's a nice place to live. It's hot. It's a nice, um, it's just a nice place to be, Phoenix, Arizona. So maybe he wants to go there. You got Josh Jackson, a young talent. You know, LeBron likes joining uh, teams that have the two guard and, and like the three or the four uh, you got Miami with the Dwayne Wade and Chris Bosh. Then you had Cleveland and Kyrie and Kevin Love. So maybe that'll work. And then you obviously, you know, a plethora of free agents are going to want to come play with them. So they'll, and they'll have money as well to make some things shake. If you're Phoenix. And the, 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 the thing that sticks out, James Jones just took that job as the Phoenix VP. And I've been told that one of the reasons why they hired James Jones as the VP is because there's a possibility he could lure LeBron James to Cleveland. Like nobody's, uh, to Phoenix, excuse me. Nobody's screaming, hey, let's hire James Jones as a, a, a VP. I was listening to somebody the other day, who's it, Doug Gottlieb, and he made a good point. D uh, James Jones has is, is the best fan in the world, right? He doesn't play often. He gets to play on the court with LeBron James like five times a year. He has front row seats. He gets to travel with LeBron and the Cleveland Cavaliers and Kyrie. And he plays like five times a year. He takes up a roster spot. He makes free money. He stays in shape. He gets the, the, the best treatment from the Cavs uh, organization. Ain't nothing really play. Who's screaming, I want James Jones to be my VP? Phoenix hired him last week. And you have to believe they think there's some, some possibility that they can get LeBron James in the future. 
So that that is a possibility. And James Jones and LeBron James are they're great friends. So you got two of LeBron's closest friends, and James Jones and Eric Bledsoe on the same uh, on the same organization in some form or fashion. So maybe that's a possibility. I think that's the least likely possibility, but I think it's still something to think about. The, the, the third one I think is one that I think it's it's a little bit better than staying in Cleveland, and it's a little bit better than going to Phoenix from a just happy standpoint. This is LeBron James going to the New York Knicks, right? LeBron would never go to the Knicks if Phil Jackson was in town. Um, he doesn't like Phil. Obviously, Phil made the posse comment, but Phil's out now. So if you're LeBron James, you take the pressure off yourself. You know this team wouldn't win a championship, but LeBron James' is closest friend is Dwayne Wade, and yes, Chris Paul will still be free agents after this season. Remember, Chris Paul didn't sign a long-term deal in Houston. He still he has one year left. If it doesn't work out in Houston, you have to believe Chris Paul is going to want to go elsewhere. Dwayne Wade is definitely going to be willing to get out of Chicago after this season. They're going nowhere. So maybe if you're LeBron, you go talk to Chris Paul and Dwayne Wade, and you say, hey, let's go to New York. Let's have fun in the mecca of basketball. Let's retire together. And if you're LeBron, let's put a, a cap on this historic career that he's had. And this will be like the ending to a, an incredible biopic, right? If you're LeBron James. That, that's a possibility. Melo's there as well. So you have your, your friends that you always wanted to play with. He's hinted at it that he wants to do this at some point in his career, play with his friends. You have no pressure to win a championship at that point. I don't think they'd be better than Boston. I think a lot of other younger teams would beat them. You don't get to the finals, but you have the time of the life playing the game you love. LeBron has been about championships his whole career. Maybe he doesn't want to do that anymore. He's won his two, three. He's won his three championships. He's gotten to about seven, eight consecutive NBA finals. Maybe he wants to just take a little break from just competing for championships and not do that anymore and just enjoy his life. He's given the game of basketball so much. Maybe he just want to play with his friends. I think that's something to really think about if I'm LeBron. I think it takes the pressure off of them. They don't get to the finals because right now I think LeBron James's biggest thing is to stop losing in the NBA finals. We don't want his record to be three and nine when it's all said and done. Because right now Cleveland, if they keep Kyrie, they're still better than any team in the East, but they're not nowhere close to beating Golden State. So all LeBron is doing now is hurting his finals record, honestly. And that's what we judge people on. We talk about Kobe's five rings. We talk about Jordan's six. We talk about Jerry West's finals record. We talk about Magic's finals record. So if right now, if you're LeBron, you, you maybe want to think about taking a little bit of pressure off of you. And then here's my fourth option for LeBron. And this is, uh, uh, this is what he should be thinking. And I think this might be the direction. I think this is the strongest case for LeBron James. Get to the Western Conference. Um, a lot of people are saying the Los Angeles Lakers. I did mention Phoenix earlier. But... I don't like the Lakers situation. I think LeBron will be considering going and playing with Lonzo Ball and playing under Magic Johnson, somebody he's looked up to, plays like a little bit. Um, I think he'll be thinking about going to the Lakers. I wouldn't do that. I, I mean, I get it, but I think the ball should, is probably going to be in Lonzo's hands. I think the franchise is in Lonzo's hand. And do you really want to do that with LeBron? Nobody's turning down LeBron if he wants to come to your team. But I just don't know if LeBron can play off the ball that much. But I just think he needs to get to the Western Conference some, some kind of way. You get to the Western Conference, here's the thing. You lose to, if you go to San Antonio or the Lakers or whoever it is in the West or Houston maybe, think about it. It's a great situation for LeBron. If you're better than Golden State, you get the, or if you think you can beat Golden State, you beat them in the Western Conference playoffs. You beat them in the Western Conference finals. So, if you beat Golden State, you'll then go to play Boston or whoever it is that comes out of the East. Who, if you beat Golden State, I'm pretty sure you like your chances against a damn Boston Celtics team with Gordon Hayward, right? And Isaiah Thomas. So, if you're LeBron, you don't hurt your finals record. If you beat the Golden State Warriors, you're probably going to win a championship. If you beat them in the Western Conference Finals, you're probably going to win a championship. If you lose to Golden State, you don't lose in the finals. You don't lose in the finals. You keep that your record intact and you don't hurt it anymore and then you lose to the the, the, the soon-to-be champs right golden state is probably going to go on and win a championship if they get out of the west so you, you you keep your finals record intact i think it's a great situation to get to the west maybe go play with pop go play with Kawhi leonard or go to, you know what i mean i just think that's the best situation for lebron james if i'm him i'm thinking about getting to the western conference some kind of way Maybe Phoenix, maybe the Lakers, maybe the Spurs. 
if I'm LeBron, those are my four options right now. This is as of July 23rd. It's subject to change the way things go out. We don't know where free agents are going to land next year. We don't know who's going to uh, play out, play their contracts this year. It's so early, but it, it is, we can have a conversation now because Kyrie is expediting everybody's process. If he gets traded in the next week or so, if you're LeBron, you really got to start thinking about this soon, right? We don't know if LeBron was even thinking about leaving Cleveland, but if you lose Kyrie, you're definitely thinking about getting the hell out of Cleveland. Talk to me in the comment box below. If you're LeBron James, talk to me. What do you think about my options that I gave LeBron? And maybe you have an option you want to say as well. What would you do if you're LeBron James? I really think, guys, he needs to take that pressure off himself and get to the Western Conference. Um, that's just my opinion. Talk to me in the comment box below. I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty.